welcome to Tuesday Truth for Kids. So, what are we learning about today? Here's a house and here's a house. Which one would you like to live in? That's a trick question, isn't it? Because they're both the same. But let's have a look at what the houses are built on. This one is built on sand and this one is built on rock. Now, which one would you like to live in? Imagine there's a big storm and strong winds outside. Which house would you like to find yourself in and which one do you think will keep you safe? Today, we are going to look at a story that Jesus told about two houses. And he told the story to show us what we need to build our lives on. We're going to read from Matthew 7 verses 24 to 29. And while I read, I want you all to listen very carefully if you can hear the answers to these questions. So, first question, what will wise people do with Jesus' words? Second question, listening to Jesus and doing what he says is like building a house on what? The third question I want you guys to listen out for is this, what will foolish people do with Jesus' words? And our final question, hearing Jesus' words and not doing them is like building a house on what? All right, let's get into our passage. So just before this, Jesus has delivered a sermon. We call that the Sermon on the Mount. And this is Jesus teaching to his followers to show them what they should live like as people who belong to his kingdom. So let's all read together. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, the winds blew and beat against that house. Yet it did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain came down, the streams rose, the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell with a great crash. When Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were amazed at his teaching, because he taught as one who had authority and not as their teachers of the law. So what does this passage mean? It's talking about building houses, but it's not really about building a house. It is about what we build our lives on, what we put our trust in. Jesus is saying that hearing his words is not enough. We must hear them and do them. If we hear his words and do them as well, we are like the wise builder. Our lives will be on a solid foundation that can stand strong in all kinds of storms. This means that now in this life, when problems come, our lives will be secure and stand firm. And one day when Jesus returns to judge all people, those whose lives have been built on him, those who have heard his words and did what he said, they will be safe from God's punishment. Now, it doesn't mean that they would have lived 100% perfectly and always obeyed God's words. As people, we can't always obey. But when you trust in Jesus, you can turn to him for forgiveness and help for all the times that you don't obey. And even then, if you trust in Jesus, in the final day when Jesus comes to deliver the judgment, your life will be safe. But what about those who don't build their lives on Jesus? What does this passage tell us about them? In verse 26, it says that hearing Jesus' words and ignoring them is like building a house on sand. Do you guys think that is wise? Before the storm, the house on rock and the house on sand both look the same. But when the storm comes, the house on sand will come down with a terrible crash. It won't be secure. Building on sand is foolish, even if you build a big mansion. So just like the house on the sand will collapse in a storm, 
someone who has built their lives on anything other than Jesus will also be in danger. Maybe in this life, when problems come or when there are really difficult things around, their lives won't be secure. And definitely in the final day when Jesus returns to deliver the final judgment, only those who have built their lives on Jesus or lived trusting in him and doing what he says will be secure. So for our application, where we ask the question, what does this mean for us? I want to ask you guys a few questions. What or who have you put your trust in? What have you built your life on? Is it Jesus or is it something or someone else? The good news is that if it isn't Jesus, you can still come to him. Jesus invites everyone, anyone, no matter what they have done, to turn away from their sin and to turn towards him and trust in him. And if you do that, you will be saved and you will have a new life with Jesus that will carry on forever. Maybe you have trusted in Jesus, but you realize now that you hear his words, but you don't do them as well. And there's good news for you as well. Jesus invites us to turn to him every day for forgiveness. And he forgives us whenever we do that. And there's something else. He gives us the gift of the Holy Spirit, who is God. And he gives us the power to hear Jesus' words and do them too. Let's close our eyes and pray together about everything that we have learned now. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for the Bible, your word, where we can learn all about who you are and what you have done for us. God, I pray that you will help everyone watching to know how much you love them and how much you want them to live with you and for you. Thank you for Jesus and that he has made a way for us to be forgiven for our sin and to come close to you. Jesus, I want to pray for everyone who wants to put their trust in you that they will turn away from their sin and believe in everything you've did for them and that they will live a new life with you. And Jesus, everyone who has trusted you, will you help all of us to carry on hearing your words and doing them as well. Help us to be like the wise builder who built his house on a rock so that our lives can be secure. We pray all of this in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next Tuesday and we'll learn about another reason why we need Jesus.